good evening, good night, good morning, depending on where you are. Yeah, I've decided to come and do tomorrow's devotion now. Then I rest because tomorrow is another day. I'll probably come back in the morning. I'll see. Don't forget tomorrow we have Dr. Mlinde. Please attend. Yeah, it will help you. I've tagged 22 people and I apologize. Uh, yeah, so let us pray and uh, I'll start. Heavenly Father, King of Glory, King of Mercy, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for understanding who we are. Thank you for the wisdom, knowledge. I decrease and you increase. Give me the right articulation of words and uh, enable me to teach as you direct. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Use me for the glory of your name. I decrease and you increase. Lord, I'm just a vessel, but I just don't want to be a vessel that misses out on what you are giving the people through me. I pray that I partake of that. I give you praise, I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen. And amen.
There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. I say you are God. You are God. From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Pass me not a gentle savior. He Do not pass me by, oh Savior, 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 I am a cry, while on other stars. me by Savior, 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 he my humble cry, while on other stalwart calling, do Hallelujah, tovi tanga komudo kazi gankuko wala gabo chali rabara ala yesu. Gonchalire Ita Yesu 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 Angenga Kukola Gabucha Irava Arire Tompita Nga komuro Kozi Yesu nga Kuko Wola Nga Wocha Lira Ava Alire Wabera wenja uro Ngomo ya tuse Wabera wenja uro Ngomo ya tuse Jangu sebo Amazima tukwetaka Ojangu sebo, amazima tukwetaka. Topita nga komulo kozi, nga kuko wola.
Sura Goncha
sumua bionam era ye kaba kawange lero nyimbanti yamfirira kologo Talo de chisache chingerio mutu kufa kwe kwa jawol konko kologo sa yesu mukwa no kwangfe. Jawe vivi via fe, chamu edo bo musa vano mubulira biuna mi kwano weji tuva. Happy to be back. Hope you're doing well. We finished praying. Hope you're attending the classes you're supposed to attend. You're supposed to obey instructions. You don't obey instructions. In school, when you don't attend class, when you fail, you retake. Some of you pay the retakes and you don't do them. With God, you don't pay. You have to go through the process. That is the refiner's fire. Yes, we are Yes, we are Yes, we Abano muria biuna e mi rembaji tubula nena kuzi tuluma rakuanga tuleme dua kumuria biuna. Ganyiziwa Bire menga kututi Sagwe Mubuli levyo na Yewo mukwa no mwesigwa Atutakawa nira Ya Ya manyo una fuwa fenye tatuwe mkira Uwe tuwe la no una afu no kwe la likirira Ye chechidu kilo cha fe Timi kwa no weji tuvako Neji tuwe mukira Tumukavira tuonye Sutajuru kuka Razi weta netokwe Oranja tikiraze Omomwe nekwe kira Omusai kwe mwe kwa fa Oh, 
ya muu mani gavion e mirimu e jengalo no kufu wa komoyo na mazi gaga jenyo emisana ne chiro bionate bijao vivi gweweka ulokozi sirinanze burunji Mkwesize kwewesizi Omwere nyambaza Omura kumpechisa Lava wendi omuvi Nazaye sufabufi Zenganchari mulam Bwende tuka mukuru Bwende rawa kwe yesu Emi sangongo sara Yesu luazi orase Kane kwe you can read Psalms 94. That's where that song comes from. By the writer. Rock of ages. Cleft for me. All of me are. Myself in thee. Confidence. Christ your source of confidence. Where is your source of confidence coming from? Is it coming from your marriage? Is your source of confidence coming from your marriage? Is your source of confidence coming from your pastor? Is your source of confidence coming from your job? Is your source of confidence coming from your American passport? I know there are people whose source of confidence comes from the American passport. There is why they carry it around and you're like, Is America heaven or oh, there's something wrong? Is your source of confidence coming from your job? Is your source of confidence coming from education? Is your source of confidence coming from your children? Is your source of confidence in your father or your mother? Or the family you come from? Or the class of tribe? Lately you call it the tribe. Some of you are driving company cars. You sit in there and you feel like, yeah, you own it all. The car ain't yours, my dear. I was of a view, you work so hard and get your own care. Some of you, your source of confidence is in your credit card. You keep saying you own a house, yet your house is on a mortgage. That is not your house. You better work hard and get your own house. Your house is on credit. Trust me, I know better. When the Lord told me not to borrow, that is the day I was like, as 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 a borrowing and they are developing, he told me that is not that is not the development time. I'm like, okay. He said, you're not others. You're called Esther Solomon, nightmare with a double N, Esther E S T H E R and Solomon S O. Others write S A, because it's the name in the Bible. Unfortunately, some of them don't behave like A. Salome was a niece to Harold. Salome was a sister to the mother of Jesus. Is your character does your character rhyme with your name? You're called David. Does your character run with David? Yes, there are some things about David that you look like. David you know because one. Solomony? Does your character rhyme with the King Solomon? Do you know who King Solomon was? You just speak the name. Is your name Samson? Do you know what he did? 
Is your name Daniel or Dan? Because the two are different. Is your name Isaac? Do you know that Isaac was lied to by Jacob and Rebekah? Because Rebekah hid the word of God from, from Isaac. Are you called Abraham or Ibrahim? Those two are different. Are you called Sarah or Sarai? When you look at your character, do you look like Sarah? She's Sarai and Sarah. Before the Lord changed their name, she was Sarai. Are you called Ruthie or Rachel? Are you called Diana? Diana was raped. Your character does not glorify God. This is very absurd. Nature and nature is going to get you a child. This is going to get Salvation is a personal game. If you think it's a game, you must never give up. I've seen you. I was very excited. Omkadem sweet said something and uh, the challenge with men and women who turn out to be false prophets most of them have not gotten the encounter of Christ men that ha have the original anointing you know some of you get the anointing from others the way uh, Elisha got his mantle from Elijah some of you want to partake of some men's mantle you want to tap in unfortunately some of you have not go yet gotten the encounter when you don't get the encounter from god himself you can never have that person's anointing you can't take the mantle and uh, why some people turn out to be false they work so hard and they end up concocting the power there are some things god gives that you don't have to tap in. There are some things that are specific for those particular people. I, I, what I have, I got my father's shoes. But remember, I am a girl. My dad is a man. And I have certain gifts my dad does not have. Because even after me, the mantle will be given to somebody else, but they'll have to operate as them. The problem we have when we get the mantles, we want to operate like those very people, and we end up concocting and creating the wrong things. You can partake of what they have, but you can never have exactly that. Why? We are unique and different. I wear my dad's shoes, but when we talked, he told me that the Lord never talked to him direct. Most of the times when God was speaking to my father, he used other people. And for him, it was about reading the word. That is him. But remember, I wear his shoes now. But now me, God speaks to me direct. He used to speak to other people when I didn't know how he speaks. When I, I, I grew up to a level of separating the spirits, First John chapter 4, when I started testing the spirits and understood how the Holy Spirit speaks, then the Lord started the journey. When he saw that I was ready, now he was not going through other people. But there are still certain things he goes through other people to confirm the word he has told me. With my dad, it was always the Bible, throughout. He was a man who read the word, and he had to instill that in us, as a must. It was not negotiable. I didn't like it when I was growing up. Ngandava tata nga avera nga tukunya. Nga avera nga tukunya. It was more of a punishment. Please, when you're praying, pray for me, my this thing is paining me so bad. And when it pains, I strain a lot. I don't like it. 
I believe the Lord will help me kuanga jembo dewala. So Tata used to make us read the Bible daily as a must. Ngawa komanga kubuza uwasomiyo. Nga I don't like that thing. Nga mbarachi tatuleka. But when I joined the university, that's when I saw the purpose as to why. And I started slowly. To, it was not easy. Nga tevinyuma nenga ninoku visoma. Because I knew wenadaye kajakumboza. Like nachikola nga kuyamba ye wenalindoza. It's when I started staying alone, and I was how challenging it is when you don't have your parents around. I spent most of my university life in my room and visiting my friends to watch movies. I, I, I'm not a club person. The only time I'll go for parties is when we have an outing as an association, a dinner, and the party's home. That was me. Uh, the, the Friday, when kids are going for, for for clubbing and all that, Friday, was it Friday or Saturday? Friday w would be overnight. I would go to Kakumba. If I don't, I would stay in my room. Or oh, once, which day w did we have Kabandole that used to go to Miracle Center? That one who used to have to book it. I, I, I was having a rare, like not every time. So I would go to Kakumba because sometimes I was in a transport to go back home. So I would go to Kakumba. Then Saturdays would have prime time. Then on Sunday morning, I used to love morning services on Sunday. Then I would do my stuff later. So because I grew up in a home where life was uh, the only time we'd have parties when we had family gatherings, that was all. That is how I survived alcohol and clubs. Because at home it was home, church, school. Home, church, school, jaja. Home, church, school, jaja. And my family members where I grew up from. And we were, before we moved, we were in the same vicinity. Like, then you cross over Nogenda, Ewantake. Like, my, my life was within Najana Kumbi, Stella, Najana Kumbi, Stella, then Kaboa. That was my life. So there was no need of that. That's why I don't even have it inside. Tivanangi Kangendem Club, Nchana, yo. So that kind of environment nurtured me in an amazing way that right now when I look back, I don't regret. I am very, very excited. Because if I was the type of Galanga for safe party anymore, Mm, this isolation nandi good dead dalu because the way i see kids are brought up gala party after party chiva chikwa over the weekend uh we'll neka off it's about parting so and naturally i love being alone so and i would spend most of my times uh uh I love reading, reading things, eh? writing, writing, reading, reading, uh, watching movies. And I used to watch, <laughs> because f at first before I got my own laptop, I used to visit. And uh, we would watch series, and if I go to a room, and it's a guy's room, and I, when I'm me, I used to, before guys would ask me out or anything, I would see it in their eyes, like, God gave it to me that I would tell who likes me and who doesn't. So what I would do when I visit you, when I come to your room, we watch horrors. <laughs> I have a friend. He reported me to his friends. So they called me. I was in first year, they were in third year. So his friends called me. <laughs> they sat me down. They were going to Esther. Right? To go to the world. Because what do you want to talk about? We want you to tell us so I was like, what did he tell you? These are third years asking a first year. We are all doing engineering. These are first year a third years boys asking a first year girl. I asked them what did your friend tell you? They were like, we want us to tell you us, you tell us that whether you love our friend or not. I was like, 
who told you that I do love you? <laughs> then they were like, you make our friend watch horrors. I'm like, it's what I want to watch. Because <laughs> they had a library. So, <laughs> and they would make him borrow movies because we were getting them for free. But I would watch only horrors. Lord have mercy. <laughs> that is how I survived certain things at the university. And because I come from a family where we have more men and girls than girls, I used to protect myself so much by putting on a tough look. <laughs> I would be bold when you're asking me questions because that's what Tata did to us, raised us to be um when you're talking to people you look straight in the eye and um yeah and the other thing i used to hide behind my glasses <laughs> lord of mercy <laughs> i used to hide behind my glasses then naturally i grew up seeing some people dating girls take it like some a boy holds you like this, then in double regulo I hated that lifestyle. And I went to the university having this thing of boys don't have one girlfriend. So I'm like, no. And and my um, daddy's sister, the biggest, had told me in a level that you have two years. If you waste it, you're in trouble. And Tata had said, each bottle sits on its own bottom. And he said, you want to eat a tray of eggs alone? You have to work hard. So, manyenakuyo. And because at home, no one was working. There was no way I was playing with my life at the university. Because I knew if I make a mistake. And I saw how girls are treated in my family when they are pregnant and they are not married. Or if you're pre you're, you're married, pregnant, but poor. <laughs> the way they, they treat us. <laughs> I'm so sorry, <sold> man. <laughs> yes. I never liked how girls who don't have husbands are treated in the family. Unless if you're rich. <laughs> if you, yes, they get excited you have a baby. But everyone is like, and at all <laughs> so my friends that is the issue <laughs> the way they look at us and go you pregnant the way they look at you go so that kind of tata i was like no way this will not work so that kept me away from a particular lifestyle I've seen my other friends go through. And uh, when I started in 2010, when I started things of relationships, I was, I knew, I had stuff like, you know, the theory, I didn't have the practical part of it because my job at the university was to laugh at girls who <laughs> were dating. <laughs> I would find it so odd when you come to visit me and I cook for you in the halls of residence. Some girls had hot plates. In my fourth year, I think, third or fourth year, we had a hot plate. I had a hot plate. I think third year. Was it mine? I, was it Vicky's? One of the two. So, girls used to have stove. You know the stove for paraffin? Some had charcoal stove. <laughs> I would laugh at girls who cook for their boyfriends in the university. We even had boys who used to come and shower from our halls of residence. I did not understand that part. Some boys would even spend the night. I did my mind. I'm like, hey. <laughs> there is a young girl who Bambi suffered with me when I was in my fourth year. First of all, I was frustrated because all the people I had studied with almost had gone. We were very few and uh, it was a crash time. I had research to do. I had to read hard. It was crazy. Now, this young girl would get visitors from Macquarie University, and she was staying in my room. We were three, but the other lady was older than us, and for her, she was my tight friend. 
Now the other young girl was really young. She loved partying. And she would come back late. And she would boil water, make noise. Those things would irritate me. You come back late and you're making noise. And sometimes she's drunk. So, <laughs> now remember I had never been to a boarding school. So one time her visitor comes from Makere. She used to have many visitors from Makere University. Now me. Remember, I never went back to Mengo. <laughs> me and my Mengonians, apart from those who I was studying with in Chambogo, those that were from Makere, it's, I did not host any. I remember one of my hobbies brought two of my friends. Then uh, they asked me if I'm happy to see them. Actually, one of them had come to say bye to me because he was going abroad to study. I I kept quiet and one asked me, Esther, aren't you happy to see us? Then I'm like, you wanted me to jump? I told my friend that brought them, I told him, never bring me anyone without my permission. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Then I looked at them, then the one who had come to say bye started introducing himself in front of my roommates. And in my mind, I looked at him. I remember I'm an engineer. For the person, they had done a three-year course with mathematics, I think. Now me, I'm an engineer. So, like, started talking about themselves, or they're going abroad. I, I looked, and in my mind, I'm like, <laughs> that is me. And why I did that, I was annoyed. I had never forgiven them for what they had done. So... I told one of my friends, the friend that brought them and told him, never bring my, never bring me anyone without my permission. <laughs> That's how I, I kept on protecting myself from certain things. So when I started dating in 2010, it was very hard for me. I, I had to learn certain things the hard way. Everything I took it in hard because I was very pure in certain things. It was a training ground. It was so not easy. The way this season has been a training ground for me because I've worked with people I had never thought they can wake up and destroy my heart using words. It had never occurred to me. I knew because those things were done way back. But I did not know that there will be ever a season which brings isolation and I'm treated like that. So, but one thing that kept me going is the fact that I knew Christ. And I would have moments that are so bad that I would break down. But I, would, I was like, Njako yongera yo. It took me a while to get the confidence to even sit here and teach. I wanted to hide. I wanted to run away. But I was like, I know the truth. You know, when you know the truth, it sets you free. That is one thing that kept me going and gave me the confidence to stand out. And speak. Then the other thing when I got a, a Bell's palsy for the third time or a facial paralysis, it hit my confidence so bad. I lost my self esteem in that I didn't want anyone to see me. When I was home, I used to hide a lot. I would hide in, if I'm not at church, I'm at my place and I would be hiding. And when I'm around people, I used not to talk and I don't eat around people. So that the more I hid, the more I became sick. Because I never wanted to be asked what happened when you don't have a solution to my problem. So that's the other thing why I hid. I remember I attended a family wedding one time. And uh, because of the role or the shoes I wore in my family, of course, when I came, when I come around, everyone notices. And if they've, t even if they've not taken long without seeing you, it's just in the blood. Everyone gets excited, then start ja 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 ja. Then you have to start forcing a smile, saying hello. And whenever I would for like try to smile, I was hiding it. Now people, sports people can always tell someone who has a problem, or doctors can easily tell. Now, I smiled and one of my relatives saw, and she's like, 
mama waba dechi and he's outspoken and everyone that made me feel so bad and i frowned i tried to hide it then another one is like hey, oh, hey. i'm like oh lord have mercy that is one of the things that pushed me away and i wanted to stay away from people because i never wanted to be asked questions when i'm sick i don't like people asking me questions I come from a family where Tata asks questions and you have to give answers. I ask questions. But I don't want to be asked questions. <laughs> and most of the times, if I notice that you're not good at riddles, I answer you with riddles and I leave it at that. But I have people who know, <laughs> who know me that I can't get away with it. But what I normally do I give you the answer as it is and that's it. Then it's up to you to think whatever you want to think. So my journey, especially in the U.S., hasn't been very easy. And very few people go to understand that I'm sick. Why I used to keep quiet so you would not tell. Some people just thought I don't want to talk. Some thought I feel sweet. I feel high class and things like that why what used to bother them is to find me on my phone laughing i would laugh and even sit down and sometimes cry so that is me i would bust out and laugh in the middle of either when people are doing their own stuff i i have something when your conversation i don't understand your conversation because i came with a low self-esteem i never wanted to involve myself in any in any conversation I would keep quiet then when it was phasing out slowly as I, I started talking but it started phasing out when a, a man called Jeff Bartlett prayed for me I, I, I became a chatterbox and that became a problem it affected my family and relatives it affected my close friends, because they never knew, I don't know how they got it, but it affected my relationships like that. People did not give me an opportunity to understand what was going on. I remember Nina, it was so bad. Then I got complaints from home, how I stress people, how I talk a lot. That threw me off the bus. They did not know that I was going through a phase of deliverance and the real Esther was coming out because they've known me to be silent. I would be around people and I would just keep quiet. The only time you hear me talk is when I'm making a joke. Or when I, I, I'm asking for something or I'm going to call a meeting. That's the most times you'd hear me talk. So, when my deliverance started, it I was misunderstood. And a lot of words were said that broke my heart in a way So I went silent in 2018. I remember my sister called me last born when they had a meeting about me at home and my brother said you cannot talk about Esther she's part of family because they complain so much it was hard so my baby sister said by you so many years apart but all of us at home we are uh, a tough nut you have to know us. When you, do, you don't know us, you will not see the other side. But when you find us, the four of us, <laughs> or you know Kubango listed, we give it to you. <laughs> like each one of us puts the other in their place. But one thing I want to thank God for is my brother. God gave us a brother who knows how to sit in the ring. And he sorts us. He, he always has an answer for almost everything. So he's, he, he told them you cannot. My brother hates people who backbite when people are not around. 
those are things that made him withdraw from family members and most of our friends. When you start backbiting people, my brother walks away. So he tells them, you can't talk about Esther, you need to call her. So when they called, <coughs> my sister started in a G and she's like, Esther, what's wrong with you? I'm like, what's wrong with me? She's like, Esther, one, two, three people cannot complain about you. The same thing, you have a problem. It is you with a problem. I told her, what did they tell you? It, 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 it got out of hand. It got out of hand. It was bad. I told her, did they tell you how they call me when they have issues and they need answers? I gave it to her. Then she got off the phone. <laughs> the phone. I called my mother and I told her, please talk to your children. I am tired. Hey, that was a whole, we had, I had two hot sessions in 2018. The other one, I asked them to do something for me, and they complained that Mbakoya, like, we were having time with time difference. I'm going to teach about time. Some of you have been seeing my watch with words of time. I've given my time to people, and they've played with it. My time is my life. I've offered my life to you, but you played with my life. If I didn't have Christ, I was going to become a loss. Please, when someone gives you their time, don't play with it. That is their life. And you don't give anyone life. It is God that gives the life. I told my mother, tell your children to think twice. They cannot demand me whenever they need something, they want me to run around. When it's my turn, they give excuses. I told her, my mother kept quiet. <laughs> She's like, no. I'm like, mama, enough is enough. You guys have refused to understand me, you want me to understand you. And for us, when you start in gear and uh, I'm being blamed for things, I'm not given room to, <laughs> to explain. Then after we got off the phone, I felt so bad and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take time, time off not calling them. But now remember, I am the biggest breadwinner at home. Tata Murade, Mama Murade. So the Lord told me, Esther, you're going to apologize. You're the one in the wrong. That thing hit me hard. And the Lord said, if I don't, I'm going to look like my dad and his siblings. And the Lord is like, now for you four, you come from the same mother. How are you going to handle that? Because history repeats itself. It was so hard. <clears throat> it was so hard to apologize when, when I'm not in the wrong. But I learned it slowly. And uh, I would call them. And we do things here and there. So when this season came... I had gone through that with my family. When the Lord told me again to apologize to you guys, it was hard. But I thank God that I did, because today I feel free. Whenever the Lord asks me to repent and apologize publicly, I can do it over and over again, and that delivered my life in a special way. The classes I'm telling you to attend, they have medication. I, as a person... I'm getting better daily. I I don't just read the word. I try to read it and it put it in my life to help me. Psalms 121. The Bible says that when I started reading, when I was leaving the country, Isaac, Pastor Isaac Sevliva gave me a scripture. I remember I had taken a, a seed Pastor Robert, so that he prays for me. But that day he had traveled. So we sat outside with Pastor Isaac the week I was traveling. <coughs> and we had a conversation of different things. Then I asked him to pray for me. So that when I, I come here, I don't leave Christ. I don't change. 
then he said esther how can you change with such a, a foundation you have i was like okay so pastor isaac gave me a scripture jeremiah chapter 17 it's him who gave it to me but when i came here because i was sick and everything i did not pay attention to the word of god that has given different people gave me <coughs> different word uh hope hope my program doesn't change on saturday i'll tell you some of the scriptures i was given this is the book i used to use back home <laughs> I love writing so <clears throat> this book has messages from 2015 uh, the ninth month on 19th 2015 and we had first Dan Temera Choto he talked about prayer and he talked about Hannah so I go back and I do a recap and I love writing writing so I would make not see anointing destroys a yoke Eh, what, what did I write? Anointing destroys the yoke, yes. Then uh, some, uh, they were my own studies, like I would read the Bible, then go to Choto and do, write scriptures here and there, Pastor Luwama, Victor, 16th November, 2015. Talked about speed in the things you do and in your life, be still and know that I am the Lord. Then that day he said he will put a song in our mouth. Trust the Lord and he will do it all. He gave us five things that a human being is supposed to, to, to have. A degree, a car, wedding, airplane, and a house. <laughs> then we had Choto, Sarah's house. That is my big sister. I would go with my book everywhere. Then on the 9th to 15th November 2015, we had triple blessing. They said the master attend. They taught Exodus 14, 14. Then second Chronicles 2017. Then overnight, Miracle Center Cathedral, Pastor Nyanzi, MC, from Faith Moves, Mountain Z. Then we had Kathy, she gave us a scripture before she sang. Then Pastor Isaac, how God operates in the things of faith. Like, I moved with my book. There is a time we studied about war against witchcraft. Who taught? But it was 5th, 11th, no, November 5th, 5th, 2015. Then Pastor Isaac Sevliva, November 13th, 2015, Romans 12, 1 to 2. Eh, kegamba nina vinji, evi malako stress wano. Choto, Mrs. Mukisaba, she went to be with the Lord. That's GM December, she went to be with the Lord. She fell, nafa, na, na kwa nafa. Eh, in a secret place where you have an encounter with God. That is what she taught us. To take a ditch into it. Pastor Isaac, now so Proverbs, Ten for lazy hands make a man poor, but diligent hands bring wealth. Brand yourself and, and spirit in a way to to make Christ proud of you. Preparation is important. Lack of preparation leads to misfiring in one's life. That is in November twenty second, twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen was a year of deliverance in my father's house. That's the year the Lord visited us. Then Pastor Isaac on. 3rd of January, he taught preparation as a big chapter. That was in 2016. And second service. He taught man, he taught a lot. He's a, he's a pastor. He's a very good teacher. Then Choto, Pastor Sadat taught in an altar. Prayer to draw closer to the Lord is the key for our way out. Like... This has nurtured me in a way that I've gotten confidence in the word of God. And uh, I, I sit and think about and meditate about the word of God. Because I'm like, when I'm alone, how do I survive a wave? These are things that kept me not to turn away from what my father had told me. Because for us, it's about faith. It's about the word. 
it's about the holy spirit whenever i did not know things i always call my mother as my first priority i would call my mom and and tell her stuff now when i came to the u.s my ma mother is not here i had to learn to keep certain hard things away from her because she was also going through a hard time but when this this isolation came the people i used to talk to about my stuff they stopped having time for me and i was left with my mother like but i had learned not to tell her certain hard things i would keep them to, i would find a way of lessening the burden and I don't tell her so i would i would tell the holy spirit the Lord has given me friends that are like five. They are prayer partners. Those are people I tell my inner things. Those are people I, I the Lord has given to me to, to tell, to talk to. To talk to my inner things when, when I don't understand. Though time reached and they also don't have time and it became so difficult and has left with the Holy Spirit. That's it. Lord have mercy. So it became a little bit complicated, but with the God's grace, it's time reached even the pastors that I used to talk to became so busy. There was a time it was disturbing me. I would attend their services and, and people would give testimonies that they are talking to the pastors. And for me, it is hard to get them. But the Holy Spirit had to tell me that, Esther, your time... You're no longer a baby. You're no longer a baby. You have grown. You're out of that level of being prayed for. Those men have trained you. There was a time I was so annoyed. And the Lord is like, no, you have grown to a level you can pray for yourself. Because they did their work well in my life. And I have most of their notes. So I would go back and do a recap. Yes, that is how I'll do, that is a few things I would tell you about my confidence in the Lord when I'm alone. So the title is Christ, your source of confidence. But I wanted to first read you Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes to the hills of Jerusalem, and where shall my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber briefly nor sleep soundly. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade and your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in, everything that you do from this time forth and forever. When wherever you are, I want you to reach a level whereby you don't call a pastor to pray for you. I want you to reach at that level where you can also hear God speak. What has destroyed churches, we don't know how God speaks. And we always think God is going to use someone to talk to you. God, if the Lord wants your heart, he wants to come in, but you have put things in your heart. Your heart has the man, your heart has problems, your heart is worried about your children, you're worried about food. Then your heart has uh, your prophet. God looks for where to land and he cannot land. 
or you some of you who don't have documents it's the only thing you you're thinking about that you've neglected everything around you you've neglected even the people god is using to help you that is the devil's strategy he's disconnecting you Navagambie. don't break communication don't break communication with people who pray for you just send a text just send a text and let that friend you trust, that friend you know that can stand in the gap for you, let them know what's going on so that they don't assume things. Me, when people assumed things about me, it sent me into depression. They never gave me room to explain myself. Please stop assuming when people are silent, when they are going through a hard time. And I would encourage, I know you want your private life, but it doesn't make sense for you to die simply because of private life. Get someone you trust. Someone who understands your silence. Someone who understands your private lifestyle. And tell them why you're telling them to pray for you. Because I don't want, I, me, I can tell what you're going through, by the way. But I don't like, there was a time... I was on a rapid and I would tap into people's homes when I'm here. And uh, prophets do that. Prophets tap into our lives. And if you're not careful, you they are going to misuse their gifts. Why? Most of the prophets make themselves look like God in other people's lives. That is the prophet problem with a prophetic and when the devil sees that the devil enters the prophet and you will not know why because you don't see in the spirit when you don't see in the spirit and you always allow you you always want to know from god through someone the devil is going to to, to target you and you get wrong information sometimes those prophets are frustrated why because they are on 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 as if they are that they have to, to tell you what's going on all the time. That's not how it works. I have some friends who ask me certain things. One, the other thing why God isolated me is because some pastors or ministers, when they see someone who has a gift, who is good at certain things, they want to own them and put them in a prison. That they don't want you to talk to any other person. It becomes so difficult and they, they, we call it exploit. That is why the Lord allowed you to punch me the way you want. Because he was tired of pastors exploiting young blood that is just starting. And God was showing us that he can teach someone who, who is alone. That is if they accept to do what the Lord is saying. Whatever is going on in my life, the Lord is opening the eyes of church that God can teach someone even if they have not gone to a Bible college. God chooses who to use us and when he chooses you, he equips you. That is God. Going to a Bible college is very good. You need to go and study because some of you don't, your gifts can, are not yet birthed. They need a booster. And the Bible college is a booster because the Lord has, has qualified men and women to sit and teach. But be careful which Bible college you go to. Some people have gone to Bible college never charm. Because some are doing it as a, a school, like the way you say I have to go to school and study sciences or arts. They are not doing it as a service to God. That they are going to serve God. They are doing it just to get titles. They are doing it because they were told you go and do it. That is the challenge with going to the Bible college. And most of the times the devil sits in the Bible college. And it's, it's sad. Because that Bible college is supposed to help you go to the next level in your ministry life. Because you need a booster. In the, in, when you read the Bible, these men were also educated. The Holy Spirit inspired men to write the Bible. 
in in the old testament the prophets the lord used to tell them to write down now jeremiah didn't know i think how to write so the lord told him to get a scribe those are some of the gifts i have i can scribe but I, but the lord allowed me to train into transcribing when i was doing nad's work i i we we would take there is a lady she used to for her she had a recorder now we got to some areas and she would record all the conversations we would be having in the field that was 2015 so she used to tell me to help her with work i keep forgetting her name she works does she work with muju now i'll ask i'll ask her my dream he remembers her that lady uh, 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 taught me how to transcribe the lord trained me through that lady how to transcribe because the lord told jeremiah to transcribe everything he was telling him those men were also educated paul was educated the Lord would teach them or would take them to schools and they study. They study things in Hebrews. So you have to love to study, to read. Because God is going to take you somewhere and they need someone who has been to school. And you're going to miss the opportunity. At least have the basics. God is using certain people, using their education lifestyle. Those who have attended my classes, you see how God is using my engineering lifestyle. You've seen how God is using my, my sports lifestyle, my work experience. Everything about me, the Lord uses it. The fact that I grew up from a family that has mama and tata, it's, it's, when it comes to classes of counseling, marriage or children, I can do it very well. Because the Lord allowed me to get the experience, to learn. I love learning and I love being observant. Christ, your source of confidence. Many people appear to be confident, yet behind that mask, they are actually insecure and unhappy. I know people who are very, very unhappy and they are not secure. It's because they don't know how tomorrow will be. They are very worried. They, don't, they, they say they know Christ, but they haven't really, really given Christ a space in their life. Why? Because they try stuff on their own. When you're used to a lifestyle of trying things out and not waiting upon the Lord, when it's time for you to wait upon the Lord, it's going to be very difficult. A form of confidence, because what brings unhappiness and insecure frustration that whatever you're trying is not working you will get frustrated before you know it you're unhappy and some of you when you're unhappy you become a problem in people's lives of like and that's a problem i'm very observant most of my friends men when they have problems they don't want to talk when they they have problems they tell you they have nothing to say. And what what used to bother me is with me, they don't want to talk. But you find them talking elsewhere. And in my mind, I'm like, I thought I am your friend. How come you're laughing with other people? This is a general statement. I've seen it with my friends who are tight. I don't know what's wrong with men when you don't have money. You become a problem. Men, I want you to sit and think about it. The way you don't want your woman bickering and uh, when then she gets annoyed and then you start wondering, what's wrong with her? That's how we also feel when you go cold simply because you don't have money, you have many problems. Men, if you were going in periods, I don't think you would even be talking to anyone. Because you don't know what we go through as women. You don't understand the science in this body. I have days of moving in a gue changa. Nengo on Kubida Simon Bell excited dog water. Nemo or Mubella Navy Zibumo for Kavi Zibum Yeni. Have you ever seen a person that they have problems and they become a problem? 
Silence is not going to solve your problems. God has sent you people who have solutions to your problems. Cut with what I did when I when I started learning certain things about my friends, and I have relatives who also have the same problem. I have someone I love so much in among my relatives. He I, I learned that from him so that when I used that same experience with other men. When he's going through a hard time, he doesn't want to talk, he wants to be alone. Though me, I used to disturb him anyway, because for him, he's my relative. But through him, I learned how to deal with men when they have issues and they don't want to talk. Men, stop hiding your issues, you're going to die young. Oh, that reminds me, Cooper wrote something. I shared it on Facebook. He said that men, you, you, you people should stop telling men they would know your heart. There is a way you put that confidence in them when they're going through a hard time and they don't want to talk about issues. He said you should talk about issues. Don't bottle in issues because when you bottle them in, the devil use it as a, uses it as a weapon to destroy you guys. Please be careful if you still want to be alive. But if you want to be dead, continue with your lifestyle. A form of confidence comes from many sources. Achieving success... Yes, most of you, when you get the money, you, 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 what, what was I going to say? You, when you get money, that is when you're very excited. And now I'm like, even now. Why are you now excited? Because you have money. Does money, is money your source of happiness? That is why you're sad. You need to, because money is a visitor. Don't joke with money. I come from a family where money speaks very loud. My dad used to make money, don't joke. I, Esther Solomon, used to make money. Gafinem <laughs> Tualatan. When I came here in America, someone told me, Mbuno, Echikolo Mwabana was streets. Mono na cent. Bangamba no chidola chikumi. That made me learn how to count American money. Kuwanga nazivala nenzi mubalida ne mubulida how much I used ne mubulida ne balance. That's how I learned certain things. I was so mesmerized. Ne ngambo na nangida senta money. I'm a girl who comes from a family. I take care of 11 people. Ngan kose sam tola tan unga gumsala kwang adatia na ngamba dinem tola sa tumeta nombuno tuzani sa sent. Like Americans, my baby, them please. Unzo kuve Uganda nenzi ya nembera kona mwenye tunulangu mkadro kwa na chama maruwa ngamla ba nenvisa ng. Does not give you a right to kumpsa magenge please. The thing inside me rose. Nam Tunoda went to Mkarwin design. Nemugamba. I hold a master's degree. I, I I even had to stretch out. Now I'm I hold a master. I had to force my. Now you know, forcing our woman, forcing everyone to go get it. Now I'm going to retire. Now I'm I hold a master's degree in renewable energy. Basically, I'm going to go to the world made in America. Now I'm going to go to the young world. Now I'm going to go to the young world. Now I'm going to go to the young world. Now I'm going to go to the but my auntie had said Mchajakumpa sent him September and my visa was ending in September. But when my uncle did that, that pushed, the, the, the Lord used that weapon to, for, to get for me money as soon as yesterday. Then when I was young, I was like, 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 Nang nino gena funa galwin dine mugamba ninda sente zange za ticket ninda suitcase yange yango like yande to uswandi ne mubulira ni bisandi mugambi then namala nanga wasoma ko
nalinge na, na siri kaku wanga na inebio munga mba vinji na yengo mwagucha amie era yevaze munga mba wana <laughs> mwe vaze kwa mba mwavansa nga 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 Ushitake tuwe chintuwecho. Na ina ina kuwela hambo. Banange katondo nunga na kuambusa. Na lini ino kuwela hambo. Na ingo usungu kwa mpulida. Ngugambe singala wake chali munda. Yandiki chukudia. Nzo kastansa nga wantu wewa tuyo. Bayo gira njo gira munda. Nga mbera munda nga njiyo. Waliuru wanyeko munda. That is just a solo. Hehehe. Na yemu nange katonda genza nga wabinzi jwa mpola mpola. It is not easy kwa nga wantu wampa iliza nye milundi minji. Nga te wampa opportunity to explain myself kati nga kati avera nga yo gira nga ze nyomba munda. Kati uwa marido kwa gira nga ansiris. Owa wabo ya gara o yo gira vya sakala nga nga I harm. I use that as a weapon. Kastonga njokera ngo ulida nga mhami nki ngo manyabiyo gira sibi. Nemka kati eche chintu si chiru unji wa nange chivite mchukonsi. Kwa nga mba sakala kujia kutimu. So udu hamu ngo yogera vya sibi. Tukende masu. Achieving success. Dressing well. Being financially. Financially secure, getting along well with people. That is where most of you get your confidence from. Mara gayonga mwe postinga, gamua na tribes zizamwe. Trust me, I had the tightest circle of friends. Ngawulio mwa njagala. Ne COVID ya ndaga, timdi yusides. Do you know why the Lord accepted it to happen? To protect the anointing and the call on my life. That is God. It is a very tough paper. Because it did not only affect me with my friends. It affected me with my family. Actually, na chizula uwe njokera, it become more problem everywhere, kosi, nze sakola vampa, it is. Kati uwe, uwe nja sama ne njokera, nze, 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 kosi nga chaos, nga kutu kwa vila wanyo. Mwasa njue. been loved omutu ya genda kumalalo gaja jawabe na call nando ga one of my singers ya genda kumalalo gaja jawabe na kama tino nga wantuwe wa ya gade because they were not happy into uska wa humpate katina gamba tino nga wantuwe wa ya gade jaja newe wa mchaye na nge we nendo kubeira ewe ya bintu mkama atandi kwa kubi ogera 2000 14, 15. Nganyiki di denyo kenda kuchoto. Tuwa mela nga tusawange mzimu jinkuba. 
Mio janku bida kewa msumba tomu rumune site vigere so bad. I think it was. Kwa nga bali wasiwe vigere vyange nga tewa gala ntambule nga tewa gala. Nga wagamba I can study but there is no working, there is no getting married. Kati, kati. Olina e kati wetu agenda okusawa e rumune mama. Olina alaba we yanda wankanda na lavo mkazo mkate katinga jajanga ya kweka and God allowed it to be bankweke because of the, the different gifts I have ne bankweka kati what I'm going through the Lord allowed it to be so that his work is not destroyed Katonda taleta bibi che mu manyiko kwanga njagala nyokwanga singa alitanja galanze nandi fudde mu covid nandi fudde bubinyo kati ne tutandiko kusabira eche chintu when i left the country kati jukira because eriye Uganda nalina abasumba nga i have access to pastors zenga wingenda nga wentuka ho kusabira nga nyingira nga wentuka wa msumba bowers nga nyingira wengenda ku glorious church nga nga nabantu bachimanyi nda different churches oyo mwana ze era ya yakera kulaba msumba nga wingenda nanga bo zenga pitawo nga si 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 so so waza kuyingira wo buyingizi but there is that favor i have nga wengenda wa msumba tomka basumba babera nga bafa akone kawa wakati nekula like that in church kati yo wena kati wena fulume gwanga Remember now cut that access in a charge in our summer time. Cutting out the only thing I have to rely on is the Holy Spirit. Our summer, Musa Mesa want to have more of a training. Give a bank of a sober local in such a season. Cavalry walk on the singer and a linger. Nga salo coke young sand so good. I've had rude words. That's if I'm man to have a look at me. I'm not me to have a look at me. I'm not going to have nge wamwe ka family ka kweyia nga atao maloku wa ka family ako kweyia nga nawe to innocent how do you handle how do you handle such a season aba somba train people to be on your own the season came nga mwina abantu aino kuiko kubera bokano kwesabira Nga bantu tewa ina kubela honga bulisawa bali ndiri na msumba. Pastors, you need to train people to get to that level. If I did not get the right training, I would have died. Kumanganza chempsemu, natuke chisera nga nukusawa sikuwa gala nga ndawa tekunyamba. Na ya tenga lieta gala lioka liensigaza. So don't put my, your confidence in tangible things, Viola Wako. Put your confidence in Christ. Because if I didn't have confidence in Christ, Chandiva Techivinyo. Because when Nakoma Oktan Koksomesa, I didn't want to come back and the Lord forced my hand out. Nangamba Afrumene Nana now. Nale Merako. And 24th of November last year, Nezira Moksomesa. And the resistance I got, cut now this time round, ngate singa kubamu wa sumba of different churches. Nengobe wa, evi gambo nga viva vinji, nengobe wa kugrupsi, mbako wano wange na gonewe changa, nga wango wa, nga wa complaining, nga kugrupsi, nga wava. Because those things hurt me so much. Nga ndava nga fuse an obstacle in people's lives. Neche chintu chiru manyo kakuburi. Chiru manyo, nga we mpostinga, nga wa ntuwa vako, nga tawala la wewa postinga, wala la tewa vako. Kati ya tele cha numanga, nga ebi ntubie mba so mesesa vye mta ya gala kujam klas, nga viva tuka ko. Kati nga that hurts me a lot. Nga ngamba na ye kale 
abadde mu class right te bawuliriza ebya bintu bya ampisa obinyo when the last time kabo warengo ba ku group kabo yagenda ku ngoba ku group yansanga nga nywedde na ye chanku babu bikubanga that is my family that is where we grew up from that is tata we yalokoka abo beba mleze katate ngati ba mleze kanga na feba tuleze kanisa we kugoma cha singo kunumanga group to deka basumba bonna banda byenga nkula and they allowed someone who just came to church to treat me like that ne sirikane it 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 gave me another picture altogether. Nenda wenga di jamu samu nga wemba magale bintu bya mu kubera nga bisiwa. Ai nga wondi good na yemba sina chemba kolera nga onbera bad. Ne sirikane nga mba mukama pa manyi netsa. Because I when when the administrator sent a message about how to put stuff on the group nenda baba tunga bamuwagira ningamba what wrong did i do nenda baba ntwa bamanyi ne byempita muna chinga bamuwagira nensirika ningamba rush te watu gambye ntino bagala basumba boka ba posting and ningamba what wrong have i put here Cause nga we mula bamba sindikira bintu we mbisindikira aba tunembuza what wrong ne sirika ne ngamba msumba chintu seated on that group nembuza what wrong have i done na nas jukira chintu chim tuli mu season atawa tawa singa bantu because because i'm a child when it's time to serve the Lord, I don't, I don't bargain about it. Na ye, ne manya titulimo season, bo manya season, chuku yamba nyo, as much as it hurts, chuku yamba nyo, ne ngamba sivega so so kuchinko la chino, I've seen other people treat me like trash, yetu wabanga vaina programs, a wabaga la ziite, wabela basa nyifunyo, wabasa ngevi nitu ya wenga, ambi postings on several groups, they get so excited. Nengamba estaka chisawa ya kunyueza yesu. Sawa maso kache kubanto kateke kuyesu. Nengamba sawa ya kunyueza yesu. Kwa nga is like, is, omuto kukumu go wako grupu ngo admi ya mjeko. Nganze silaba msango gwe nkoze. Does it come from the vision bearers? Does it come from Mavakuru? Or why it comes from the admin themselves? Because Tola Vieto Songina Rachon Zijako. Why do someone sent a joke? You know, Jim, but the someone in a syndicate message in a second lavant to Nanga Baba Nago were adding him of cigars. Kuanga, someone was killed. It, it is not actually a joke or someone was killed because of because of being a group a group admin. It's in the newspapers, it's an article. Or in a term name gamba echirabika chirake ya lidiru ya sente kuanga wotu kido kuto munto lokuwa kuja ku group. Munanga we have killed people with our with our mouth, with our actions, just like that. Mwe gendeleze out there, ezo group size muna janira ze mkaya nila. Aba food deva, oloza wachari, enamba zawe kwe zidi, na yoloza zidi active. Kati mwe gendeleze bintu ye mkola. Mwe gendeleze nyonze mbabuli da, nga tona baku reacting to anything. Mwe gendeleze nyo, kwa nga mgenda kwe jiso vla mbwa mwe wona, nzo kusidika na bawa space. Rachinga, I don't like people who are hypocrites. You don't listen. You just react. Your actions are going to to take you somewhere. Don't again da kuagala. Kubanga ba singa temu mani, and you don't know my journey with the different pastors. That is where I would sit. Nenezama mani nengamba no. 
this person doesn't know me ah chamanyi kochitono they don't know who i am you don't know my childhood you don't know nothing about me don't even pretend it's a cool na yanga nze na basani wana ya why why do i cry ndi mu isolation ndi nze ka Sizo nje tulimu ya kwa gala bantu. Sizo nje tulimu ya kuzamu bantu manyi. Ebi ntubye mba sindi kila tabiba za mamanyi. Mumu tuteka mgroup sinti no mjemu tusabili. Ata no vayo no fukutuka. Naba sumbe mtu ya sindi ka it's the word of God. The Bibles are not theirs. And God works in different ways. We have different gifts and talents. Kati, 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 na, na, that bothered me. Nengamba na ye, what is wrong with Esther Solom? Na ye, chumanje, it's nothing wrong. It is a season. But it hurts my feelings. And I got tired of hiding myself. Kubanga nganja kukutuka momtimu. Kubanga umra, umbaibde kama te umtima grade nda desa. Some of you don't understand what I'm going through. Why? Or in a family, yo. Or Jack Tutti no Bulida. I'm a Tuevacubo, Duco Dawam Kazuo, Duco Dukambanabo, or Duco Damba Zukuruvo, Duco Damba Gandabo, or Duco Dam Mikuanojo. You're surrounded with people. Katchendi Kotoch Tegeda. You don't get the point. Rachi go one over kuchitu uti owa one over kusomesa. O mami aliyao, o mchala aliyao, wabana aliyao. Bona wa sumba venda bienga baba kuba. You've recovered because you have your family members. O kuba we mbeja. Mwena mukabi embala vieko, ni mukaba maziga. Abamu muino mami awaka. O ina abana. Aba ina abami gababela abroad. You have abana. You have your your house help. Kuwanga abamu. Abuanga wata uteka kumami na uteka kubana. Katitochi manye chechitegeza. O kubela weka. Tochi manye. Mama singate yali antanjigiriza moyo mtukufu. I don't know. Like it's too no longer such together. Now, ye, Katonda, we are to be called up, ye, we are fair. Many season again, I could go. And my pain will, will, will reduce. The pain is still there, I can't lie to you. The pain is still there. I will be fine. I will get to that level. Your pain is charged. I've allowed you. Come and under cover. How it is like. Mama, you get the jamu yamba. Jamu yisa maabantu. You don't just come out to say or do anything you want simply because you want to talk. I want to another singer about the circle groups by in a family. Zabo, I want to sing about you get a call. Gaba, you get everything everyone they have there with their families. Abali abroad, Mumayumba Mubabera, it's like they are in a family. Kuanga's a can't cool in a better way of folk who come season. Name Pulidanga new and better scharge ya or singer in a center nandi for me and a nepang is a yo na teddy moon to go and dava. That is what it does to me when I get frustrated and depressed. I just want to be alone. Na teddy and dava nembele yo pakare mpona. Unfortunately, because of the call on my life, I cannot do that. As always, I would do it. Many of you have advised me to be siba kokole video. Guangamba siba siba kokole viangi. Mzengkula be yomu video. Zimkula be yomu bifana. Nyingoli na avant. Guate siba kuvant. Ngamuli mu pati. Ngamuli ne mkwano jamwe museka. Nengambo no ye yangambi. Amanchi empita munga dinze. Ka avantu vendi na veno siba lokole. But it's our what call appointment in Gavanera Vida. It's very difficult. Nayata Wabaya Galan 
ngamba kolele ebintu awo ndi mkwano kwa bendi favorite kati wabanga teba ina chebanja kala nganze njina chenja kala ngaba nera bila nengamba omanyi it is time for me and my Jesus the rest we shall we shall see it when it happens because most of you can't handle what I'm going through trust me on that you're, you're not even a cord <laughs> I'm not blind. I don't know how to put it, but because it's not simple. Because walo bi na tuka ne tunuli na ngaba na bi unkuze na bumba sindi kirengi ni neva unblockinga. Echo chama la mnyama. Ne ngamba mani tuwalo kuka what happened? Om tunaku blockinga roko om sindi kirengi. Echo chama angula. Ne wo sindi ka jokes no sindi aba sindi ka pon. Ebi abantu ngateva va ku group. Ne wo tuka kunjiri. It disturbed me so much and it bothered me. Ne ngamba bi no bi sindi ka bi bi dagala. What's going on? Chan chan bisabu vi. Sagala kubali imba. Nkoyo kwe kweka. Nkoyo kwe isako. Tu isabu vi nyaba ntu. Omu ntu wafane tufayo ne tumla gomu kwa no kwa. Why? It is very sad na yu mkama mdu unja sikala mdu unji. Nja kuterera. That pain will go. That pain is very much. It will go. Watch it again. You need to have confidence in the Lord. It takes time. Maybe to be a mukama ya janja wanga wali katonda. Nina na kuzembera ngandi very excited. Nini na kuzijanga zidi sad. Nengamba mbade sige na kujabai da yuko sasa mbade ngenda kwa kanga puli randi mrate. I did not know that it was the sadness. Kati si uli damu amu bili si gudi dan kamrate. Eh mbade nga puli dan kama sujanga kuli ngo kunuma kunom kono nga kutanzo kwera nam kega manga si vite kera nga puli dan mrate nga kunuma era mbade ngenda kweva. Chechura chola ba ne studio ya kaji chusi zako anga zimbade ngenda kweva. Nyeka ti pulida, chima de chima de kompulida kati chike nanga chita. O chita teke, o chita kete. Kati chike nde maso. But true confidence depends on something more than outward appearance or human relations. It is born in the security of your relationship with Christ. You have to have a personal relationship. It's not about your husband. It's not about your wife. It's not about your pastor. It's not about your children. It's about you on a personal level. Get a time. Gatoli na mikwano, jotoli na family yo. Otulobi kule Bible. Of ne personal time. God, God is waiting for us to have a personal encounter. Jagalo tuke kulevo nga na wawulida katona nga ayogera. Eche chintuwe tunachituka kwa yu level wano chituka kwe. Togenda kudamu kulinda prophet ye na kogera mbula muo. Togenda kudamu kulinda msumba ye na kubulida chiga monti yesu aloko la wanya. And a season je tuli mustani atudemba ntu avalosi. Atudemba losi, atudemba pasta, atude everywhere. Akoza sava ntunga waya gala. Mwegendeleze out there, stani ali out to eat us up. Na yebu wana kusanga ngo ina HIV mumubiriko. Omoyo mtu kufuta sawa la kutula mne wobo ya kalanyo. Omoyo mtu kufuta competing glass space. That is why you're struggling. Ze kuburi. Gwa yuza kuwa toli as emotional as I am. But most of you are broken records. Na yawa mwechi wa yama antitechiva yoni oline family yo. Oline waganda vo. Oline avantu vo. 
because to inza kunga manti zi kusindikira messages nota zi damu wane kukubida nota kuata ngateri yo family member kukubida nota mkwata not to be honest with each other you call your family members right I thank God to Nenda Kuangara and Zaymia Kachin Damasa to Nenda Kujifuna. Nenda Jifuna was nice or come out, Angel. Nenda Kujifuna and Jagaram Panga and Kadiwe. Musumba Musi to Ali eighty three. He's seventeen years older than Daddy. Daddy <laughs> seven number seventeen years. And you send your Kuang and you know, and to went to know the number seventeen. Nenda Kujiwes. Ze kuburi, la bukwe tunurola. Ogugogwa wacha ni pre, oja kuunda vanga kujita konga ni nene miaka china na gawo ondi mkado mkumu, omanyo mkado yesi ni watu. Gawo ifana la. Bukwe tunurola. Kate ndi mkado beautiful. Bukwe, bukwe no dao, seke, seke. Kate mnanga tukende masu. But true confidence depends on something more than outward appearance or human relations. It is both in the security of your relationship with Christ. It creates order, harmony, and stability in your spirit. When Christ is in charge of your life, nothing can occur that you won't be able to handle successfully with his help. This creates a confidence that enables you to lead a mature, balanced life. Eh, manange. It creates order, comma, harmony, Comma and stability in your spirit. My my spirit is very stable. By the way, if my spirit wasn't stable, what you're seeing outside would have killed my inner man. But my my spirit man is very 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 strong and very stable. If my spirit man was not stable and strong, you wouldn't see me here. Ambassy sovola. Kuango wa munda wa kuba. O kunguru we wam kuba no munda ni wam kuba. Ova kava kawe demo genda kufa. Now, when Christ is in charge of your life, nothing can occur that you won't be able to handle successfully in with his help. Or rather, katiyorokwa ni na Yesu ni na confidence mu Yesu. I can handle anything, even if I go through it painfully. Aira malane chivunuka. Kati pain yo na jem pulida enga matewa chamba kotewa chaina time yanga. It's on a general scale. Kati echo, there is a way into circle level. It's not easy, but I'm getting there slowly. Some of you, kuanga tani za kutule yono gamba mno, mtino, kole evi yo vaku bantu. Gwenga toba vanga ko, like evi evi ntubi neu nyisa nga mubi ogera. Munanga gowewa ze mkama, kati gwe mkama ya kuwa mchala mangu mangu, kuwanga tobi sovo. Mukama ya kuwa abantu kubanga tosobola kubera weka tosobola isolation no mrundi no malaba yonga musomesa ngoyagala abantu bakudemwa amina nyo amina nyo tosobola se kubulira za kubulira covid we yasoko kuba abazadde abaina abana abroad abasinga bagenda kubunkenke bali mu life ya bunkenke kati abana abwe bada bala bakone bakoma bala banga mwaniriza abantu ku airport I'm really excited. Bala ba muina MEP ya different countries. I'm calling to movie calling them groups. I'm bala ba. I watch. Ne njira kuanga kati wembanga soma Bible. Owanga seva se. Be having to be endavan because I will have to watch over you guys. I watch in the spiritual realm and I watch in the physical. It is watch and pray. Wati mangi na kusabi la mchivi esirabi. Katonda simu fuusa. Oh, take it. Kachechorachi mbalave yu. Ne musa nyusa. Mwena ne jokes kustata. Sisa mwena nse kangata inabia kukula. Katine zijua ku Facebook. Nina kati. Nange nevere la munza nyana waza nyana nge. Awata za nyana nge. Oja kustata sisa wantu na wandike chintu. Oli na kula ganti bachi vuka. Na damu avala wana sakana wala wana kuderitinga. Ne ngamba esta solo no. Toge na kufango olava. Nengamba wanyo wa oti. Nengamba ninayesu 
abanja gara wajaza nyanango, baba lokoro wasi barokole, wajaza nyanange, fane naf, abana abatali, abatali barokole, banja gara nyoku singa barokole, beba na watanda ze mutima mubi, and most of my hobbies and ogies, abato kunda baba li so surprised, nga wasa nyukanyo vambio kunda ba, Never say you can yon 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 gaje komesa, and the Lord is using that to help me heal. And I allowed it. Right, because my God knows how stable I am in the spirit. If I wasn't stable in the spirit, na waba ndi kubye nenziru kamisinde kakukola tonde kanyuma. Oish take it, take it, take it. I had to get them so. When Christ is in charge of your life, nothing can occur that you won't be able to handle successfully with his help. He creates a confidence that enables you to lead a mature, balanced life, even though you might feel threatened by problems. To approach life with trust and courage and a Christ-like attitude, has great practical value. When you, when you surrender your life to him unconditionally, I is no longer the most important person in your world. I am the most important I It's a we. It's a we when you have more than one people in your life, it becomes a we. You should learn to have a we. You cannot be the younger, it's about you. God uses people to help you. God has a, some of you, God has given you access to my life so that I'm by Yamba. Because you have to accomplish my work in their lives. Nenga ba e nampa confidence to go back all the time. Mune wa kukubida nota kwa tana nsi mikra message nota zita. Ata nyo kusange wala lango seka. Nga i come back rachi wali wa umri mumu kama gwa ya karo kola mbula mungu. Gwali no kugusa. Rachi there is something special about me that you don't have. But the only way it will help you is when you recognize. But if you don't recognize, you're going to struggle. God has, has brought certain people in our lives. Ngabali nevi tuwebi tuyamba, tenga bamba kambwe. Kati ababasajia kuminaba vidi na mchala. Obaba njagala, obate banjagala, have to stick in there, however hot it is. Newewa mblokinga. Abamba mblokinga kumasimu gawe, by the way. Era nechi tegera nechi leka kuwa ngata wa singa temanyi whatsapp. Awa sumba mwena wa singa temanyi whatsapp wa iskola. Ze wong blocking I can tell. Wong kusindi kila message ino utajisoma I can tell. Wong jisoma I can tell. Katia temwe temu manyi teknoloje wako. La kuwa ngata wa singa muli wakuru mumiaka. Na watu nyawo mumiaka wa singa temu manyi wabikola. Wali wabantu wa jako blue ticking. Never was anti waji jako sitege nanti wasa mi message mukwanu. There is a day and a time. Don't forget that part. I Esther Solomon, I'm a detailed human being. I check your messages whether you've read them or not. Echo cho ino kumanyati nzo Esther Solomon gamza nyirako muna genza mkama yamba. When Meta changed things, most of you have a business account. You had better read the messages, then you delete them. God is going to send you a message through someone. And you're gonna miss out on God. Or look for take a good time. Even to every way, every way, a Gaza, a Gaza. A simmer one to our food. 
Ne vale kama si mugaba gebe. <laughs> ne vale kama yumba ama motoka. Ne go chali ku WhatsApp, just a WhatsApp. Mulembe go musa mpozi la inachi. Boche chali chiveraza. Anyway, you have a right. It's your phone. Young number when syndicate went to get him via Gala. When mum blockinga, civiza yo. Movisange wero. It is that simple. Na yezo chensa wa chidi chimu. You don't fall a victim of my classes. Nga the warnings are all there and you haven't paid attention. Kuwanga nza bidurem kulawanga muge ndila muru okano. I had so bad. Nengamba yi, ndawe yunga bantu wa mabawa ujulizi mchachi, nengambo yi yango wako grupu. Abantu wa fina accidenti, abantu wa wako watane wa wako, abantu wa wasiba, abantu wa wakarida. Rachimuti abantu. Na abantu wa mwene wafu nevizi wa mmakani, sana nengamba karida wa. Nengamba na wala wula, tewa ulida, chichi. Mukama tacha yugera na wasumba wa mwebaga mba about the season. Na wali bako la mumu limu. Na ya season eno jira. Wa mwega ndeleze what they call a season. Nziza nga chiva gamba. Mwega ndeleze chiva isa season. The Bible is gonna come true in our lives. Nga mutu nula. Na ya ngeri tino temu ulida. Tenza na nziza gala a star for 14 to happen to my life. I will do what the Lord is saying. Mwe muvire mwao. Kumango genda kugwa mwayayi. O genda kugwa mwa. Aba mwla woza. Do you have the money? Sisa nje tulimu yu money won't protect you. Nza chijia kunu manyongo ofude. When my friend Michael died. I, I, I'm getting there slowly. But I haven't yet recovered from that pain. Nengamba Michael, there are times I forget that Michael is dead. Nsanga vifana nyivye nesiri kilida. There are other friends of ours, our zenga wafa. Ngangenda ku Facebook ne mbalava walu wa mlalava mwita Kiri. Ngandava Facebook yelaga, evite nevila konga vila galaifu. Nengamba yena nyini yotali yuo. Nengamba kale lava, ono tali na uko peji ye. Tuina mkano gafe wa mitanga kana manji, kana manji ya lia nja gala. Nenga mbaka chemi yaka jii sawa, ntewacha jana kewe la kupeji ya ya agenda. Nenga mbaka le ya leka o account ye na leka o mwana we. I love you, that's why I send you stuff. Ababi guba sitia ababi, sitia ababi balete la. Nga moon stressing. Nze kastua ingina mlevo yoko stressing. Atengo redi ni nevi intawanya. Healthy angen. Bisaga la nze ku, nze... Orokuwa, it's health in me. Sina kuwela annoyed. Because echo chiva chidi nyisa blood pressure yange. Zesa gala kufakati. Nengambo manjika mbele nze ka. Ate siri nze ka. Ndino moyo mtu kufu. Nengamba kambale. Kembe muli bize. Mbwe mba mwagalo bako lelevi ntu. Munte kakututen. Na enze time mbwe tuke yange. Mwoge la vinji. Nengamba you know what? Nengamba mkama, give me other people who are qualified to do certain things. Katimai kacha inacha sobo lokola. Alex inda ula ya genze. Baba wango mbo atifiyo ya genze. Siri kilida wentu na eche neva za wako mkama ya mpade message ya yansa nyusi zomti makwangi. Kubaba wange fifu. Kigamba nesa nyukanyo na yunga peini ele mweri. Rachi zendio mwana kuze nga njagalwa. I easily attract friends. And I have people who love me because nkole mirimu. Nza Uganda ni na mkano jange nga vane soko wakolele minimu kumbaka za hawe. Because they found me on other people's weddings. Nga minimu tujikoze bulu nje mbaga negwa. Nga bulichimu nchikoze nga nze nyingida wabala la weba tasokola. Nekola. I 
and I allowed to do that because that is the confidence I have. I stick my neck out because I have confidence. I stick my neck out because the confidence I have in the Lord. Many of you cannot help anyone. Why do you have access to things when you can't help anyone? And most of you have helped you. It's because you guys don't have any confidence in the Lord. That is why you cannot return the same favor to any other person. You cannot afford me. I'm very expensive. I'm not a fake product. That's why I don't sit on a display. I am very expensive if I decide to charge you for my services. Trust me. I am very expensive. I am very expensive. I am very expensive. That is me. That is me. That is how God created me. Just information for what? Just get information and give it to someone. That is so, so simple. Omutaja kugrufu na gaba nanga ni ama nchi ni wechidi. Bwana ni vasilika na ama manji wana ni vasilika. Mzo nesti kongu wa mtoru gongu wa tini mgombo konchidit. That is me. Katituli kugrufu sisi neze vitabo. There are people nganze ndete vitabo. You know people who love taking credit for other people's work? That is our lifestyle. God has given you someone who has access to things. I want you out there. Please thank people who have put a hand for you. Do it now, you don't have time. It's okay, I'm never so bad, I'm never so much money. Now, you just got to call it a van to Please do it. I'm not even a doctor, I'm not even a banker, I'm never so. Now, you have wisdom to do something, I'm never so. Though I get affected when I overwrite. But all of you mean a lot to my life. It is because I have the confidence. I do what I do because I have confidence in the Lord. Because That is one thing when I my head in is a good wind and I walk with confidence. Why? What I do, you cannot do. Because for you, you struggle to do it. I've celebrated people who status young. I want to wear a Facebook. I've seen a status young. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I have celebrated all of you in an amazing way. That can only be done by someone who has confidence in the Lord. 
But when you don't have confidence in the Lord, tevi kukwata ko. Gweka stosa nyuka ne familia yo. That is it. Mbalaga yunga mwe wana. Nengambe ramu nange gwali nebe vyo ino kuberamu. Kubanga you're not called for nations. You're not called for people. You're called to be a celebrity. Gwali woku wewa, gwali woku shayali ingiwa. That is it. No one uses your page. For what? You're not called that field. Omuli mungo kuja not so mesa. Netu liking a ring to be on. Netu sharing. That's it. But you're not called to make people happy. You're called for people to love you. That is all. For people to love you and support your business. To support your, your struggle. To support your music. To support your gospel. That is what you're called for. But you're not called to help people go through such a season the way God wants it. You don't have any remorse. Gwe kasta mchala unavana, uvo mwami unavana, kasta mvera mula alava sikadewe yiyo. Mbalave yo. Nengamba, oh, okay. We were looking at the, the word I. When you, when you surrender your life to him unconditionally, I is in quotes, is no longer the most important person in your life. I stop being the most important person when Christ is, 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 is when I've surrendered my life to him unconditionally, it stops being I. I don't come first. People who come first don't love anyone. People who come first are selfish. When you love, you give. You live in constant fellowship with Christ. But the world mentality is, you come first. But, but the world mentality is, you, you I hear for you to love others also kakwefa konze esta solo menefa ko nze ndi very expensive na bagamba nze ngoye ze nyambala engato ze nyambala simala gambala ngato I rather buy one pair of shoe na yengeli mwaka cent and when it comes to shoes ebilala nyizo passing the way it is but my shoes obyo kuvanga ndi muto Tata ya some sechi gambo che ngato. Kati we namara okumanya engato chete geza in the spiritual realm. I don't just buy shoes for the sake of buying shoes. I buy leather. I rather have one pair of shoes. Na enga quality. I don't buy quantity. I buy quality. Those I've celebrated on their birthdays and I buy them stuff. I buy quality, not quantity. That is done by someone who has confidence in the Lord. That is a girl who wants to be better than others. That's how I do it. You want to be better than others? Make others happy. Katonda to demweche chintu. Wano yiga that secret. Ogenda kuwela happier than you think. Nze my spiritual man is very happy. Omwe na omu ntuono ali very weak. What makes this outside bit strong is your inner person. Naeka techo toinza chitege na kuwango in other world mentality of thinking about stuff. That's why you're unhappy gwebofune chizibu chukuma ne chukuma la munyo. Na awam neok recovering is a problem. That you need your wife there, you need your kids there. Abatalina you start to sleep around because you're stressed. You start to nemno nyo kuberu ambanto. Abamu muno nyo kuberu amu ibia. No nyo abia. No vera wawweru. No tule yo mpewa nekufuwa. No vera mubala. No gende ni wevza wza nula wawumupira. Nenga Bible ya kuninzeka. Kuchenda vya mkovid-19. Te msa wala kuberu amweka. You cannot. It's because you have the thing I in your life. You come first. You're selfish. That I is a selfish move. And there is no way you're going to go with God now you have it. You want to fly higher? You better let go of certain things. 
and you have your confidence in the Lord. Kubanga kuba mwaka fana nyi. Oh, you remember that guy in Italy who who lost to the entire family to COVID? Nava kuchizimbe na inafa. Because ya lala nga akomi. He could not imagine his life alone. You live in constant fellowship with Christ and as a child of the Father by His grace you are able to live according to His principles. Then through the power of the Holy Spirit you live with confidence. Then through the power of the Holy Spirit you live with confidence. Open your Bibles in First John. I'm praying to the Lord that you attend class so that you don't fall victims of what is going on. The season is bad. The Lord wants us to have our confidence in Him. He wants us to fully trust Him. That's our only way things are going to go back to normal. First John chapter 3. I'll start from verse 1, then I'll read very fast. See what an incredible quality of love the Father has shown to us, that we would be permitted to be named and called and counted the children of God. And so we are, for this reason the world does not know us, because it did not know Him. Beloved, we are even here and now children of God, and it is not yet made clear what we will be after His coming. We know that when he comes and is revealed, we will, as his children, be like him. Because we will also, because we will see him just as he is in all his glory. Verse 3, and everyone who has this hope, confidently placed in him, purifies himself, just as he is pure, holy, undefiled, guiltless. And everyone who, who has this hope, confidently placed. In him purifies himself just as he is pure, holy, undefiled, guiltiness. Everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness, ignoring God's law by action or neglect or by tolerating wrongdoing, being un unrestrained by his commands and his will. You know that he appeared in visible form as a man, in order to take away sins. And in him there is absolutely no sin, for he has neither the sin nature, nor has he committed sin or acts whether worthy of blame. Verse 6, No one who abides in him, who remains united in fellowship with him, deliberately, knowingly, and habitually practices sin. No one who abides in Christ, who remains ununited in fellowship with him, deliberately, knowingly, and habitually practices sin. No one who habitually sins has seen him or known him. Verse 7, little children, believers, dear ones, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who practices righteousness, the one who strives to live a consistently honorable life in private as well as in public, and to conform to God's precepts is righteous, just as he is righteous. Uh, I've, I've been reminded there was a time when God had called Joyce Meyer. He told her she took three years when she's doing nothing apart from reading the word of God. The Lord told her to separate herself and she reads the Bible constantly. No preaching, not going to any school. The Lord told her for three, I think there were three years, and that is all she was doing. That is all she was doing. So God can isolate you. God isolated her and told her to do that. She wasn't going anywhere. She wasn't doing anything. 
for three consecutive yes i think there are three consecutive years you want to go higher with the lord you're gonna learn to live in isolation with the lord you're gonna allow god to talk to you but that will only happen if you fully give yourself to the lord if you stay away from sin if you stay away from anything that compromises your body Verses 8, the one who practices sin, separating himself from God and offending him by acts of disobedience, indifference, or rebellion is of the devil and takes his inner character and moral values from him, not God. For the devil has sinned and, div and violated God's law from the beginning. The Son of God appeared for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. Verse, verse 8, the Bible says that the one who practices sin, separating himself from God and offending him by acts of disobedience, indifference or rebellion is of the devil and takes his inner character and moral values from him, not God. For the devil has sinned and violated God's law from the beginning. The Son of God appeared for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is born of God deliberately, knowingly, and habitually practices sin. Because God's seed, his principle of life, and, and essence of his righteous character remains per permanently in him who is born again. Who is reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, and set apart for his purpose. And he who is born again cannot habitually live in life characterized by sin, because he is born of God and longs to please God. Verse 10, by this the children of God, the children of God and the children of the devil are clearly identified. Anyone who does not practice righteousness who does not seek God's will in thought, action, and purpose is not of God, nor is the one who does not unselfishly love his believing brother. For this is the message which you believers have heard from the beginning of your relationship with Christ, that we should unselfishly love and seek the best for one another. Verse 11, for this is the message which is which you believers have heard from the beginning of your relationship with Christ. Unless you have a relationship with Christ, you can't love anyone. It is about you. Most of you say, but you're, you're not, trust me. I see it in your character, the way you brand yourselves. You don't love anyone, it's about you, you come first. Most of you are self-made. It's simply because your relationship with Christ is missing something. Because the God we serve, the Christ I know, loves people. The Christ I know takes care of people. The Christ I know sticks with you when you're in pain. The Christ I know does not takulangira, does not blame you for your mistakes. The Christ I know forgives you. The Christ I know understands you and forgives you and loves you daily. We were created to emulate Christ, to work together as God created Adam and he, he, he made Eva for him because Adam could not be alone. And Adam had God speak, but Adam did not understand who God is. That is why, that is the whole point why he created another person. Because two are better than one. Those who are not married, I know you have a clique of friends. The girls have their friends and the boys also have their friends. You have access to your friends. Have you ever asked yourself, yourself why? Those who don't have children and don't have wives or partners, but you have an acquaintance. Some of you have girls nga ogenda yo kweba kako na ye just to warm you up. Babasajia mutiempeo. 
Nga yo just acquaintance wa kole yo nga tomu wa gala. Nga chintu mwa chite sako tote kamo feeling. Nga wawanga bode yimbi yo tategera nga akumalide chizibu. Me manye mkwano. Saka vila wa. Sibi sanza Amerika. Ne Uganda vye vili. Evi ntivye mkola tevaka. Si go so so kubikola. There are people nga lina goba ise sexy ment. Yoba bedi ment. Nga yesa ya gala mkama na inga lina yo mtu wa mumalide chizibu. Ze walu mkwano kanga yambo za bodli. Na nga mba ne esta. Tona fumbiru wa konze ye. Na ngamba katibuwa omubili kwa guyi mba vyo tategero kolo otia. Na mugamba mnangai occupy myself. Na mugamba of course omubili gunta wanyi especially during periods time. Because indi mula muze ngeda periods. Siri mugumba please. During the time of periods the body sings another language altogether. That's why many girls make a mistake during their period times. Young parents Please, when your child is into their periods, monitor them. Because when it's time for your periods, the body is singing other things. The opposite sex. If you're not careful, those girls, that's how they get pregnant. During that time, the body is saying other things. The body is saying the opposite sex. Temu yinza na kuchini banchimani. Eche chintu kukaute kutuali no mchale ya tuyamba na chutusomiza. Because I had questions na inga sima nyo wenzifu. Zawa antu ngambi. Tia. Nga ngamba mama vanse kerele. Katilumune tuwela ne kukundi ya wa. Wapa tuwali wa prefect feka. Ni wale to mchala. I remember very well na limu S5. At Kaotek Academy. Ni wale to mchala to talk to us to talk to girls, many mwali mwa wala, nga tubuli about our bodies and how our bodies react during the messes. Omchalo yoye ya nyamba, yoye leta deliverance mbula mwa wangi, zenali manyindi kechichamu. Bananga haba zade muyamba haba na haba mwa. Ewe mtu yoga mambusindi kwa mwani wa senga ya kitani senso, mba mwiveko, mama weko atide mchindu. Basenga haba na haba musiba loko, le mja lete vizibu. Tata weko atide mchindu. Tula no mama wa habana. Habana mbo gere na wa. Evi ntumuti ya wasaji yoko gere na habana. Haba wala yeti mugende yone mwe waka kufana wa habendi. Muyamba habana. Kwa wanga wa singa wali ignorant. Ni wasa wanga ya walezi na muli mbali. Mana gamba sija kola nyo. Sija oka kananga wana wafunye mbuto. Most of the girls who get pregnant. It's not that they went there and have a girl. Yawa deno msajia na mgamba I know how to do it so wada kufoni salubuto. Katijuki lo msajia tamanyi saiko ya mwala. Haba wala haba mbali very fertile. Haba na haba mwala kastako lele nsovi azala kuzazi. Omchalo ya yanyamba nyo to understand my body in an amazing way. Kuwanga tufasi na lima nyindi kechi zivo. Na gamba neda when kuwanga for us to go in our periods... Eyo ejiri oliva lino nyachi to be fertilized. Kati what you see as period, those are eggs that are not fertilized. That's how they come out. Sagala mutieva na mugere na wo fathers are in a girl child. Bwabanga mama ya nova na agendo wa mama na afa. Do the work. Toti ya mwana. Gwa mzala. Na ewe wo chukola. Sabo moyo mutukufu. Kumanga tu waga do sindikawa na wafemi kwa anuja fuba mbasengo wa ntuala baba bulite. Na ya wa baine miti memi vi. Bai giliza wa nepise mbi. Omulembe kwa femu vi nyo 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 nga jenko meza. Tato gena sindikawa ni wa senga. Senga ya gala doku wata kumano ya mkoze sevya swaksi. Evya swakaba. Tato genda vira mwao. Atene muka nisate tu inawa senga wali bold enough kugamba wana. Di A is A, B is B. Muawana muwatide. Kati atene mugena ne muleka wana mwene baba kwa lila bridal showers. Ne baba leti lava senga wata manyi mukama wa senga wa jude mizimu. Ne wali wakawa igilizo mwano mwalo wa mwano mlezi. Ne wamu igilizo vintu vya wama malaya. Omsajia gendo kuwa sata wawasa malaya. Omwala na wama bridal shower nga yene moyo guwebo nzugumu etise kumutwe. 
Banaga mwe gendeleze bridal showers. Mwe gendeleze those things simanya boys in night out nga msajia gena mwasa. Baba le tila strippers. O msajia natuko kuwa sanga. Navayo no mo yoguwa wenzinga gumuwe mbade msajia wate yalita yaka. Nala baba wala anga wako le mintu biata, biata la manga ko. Wali yu nabaleza vaina culture. They make you sleep with a stripper for the last time. Ngabaku gamba yu saying bye to the bachelorhood. Omsajia na afuna siri mkuru na kule ngencha agenda kuwasa. Bandanga mwe gendele ze mikuano jamwe. Stani atude mikuano jamwe. Mbaya gairi ite. Siku goba ku mikuano jo. Na yewe gendele ze obula mbo. Mwe gendele ze ze mbabu ulira. Gankula vila. Kumanga vitu vyo gendo kujia mbrido shavi genda kusiba obula mbo wona. Now, why should they teach you how to do sex? Why? Yingira yo, mugenda kuwela yu babili mchisenge no musajja. Girls, be careful with bridal showers. Baba hiring ila basenga, never yo no nechi intu. O msajja natuka na mchala yu first night, mizi mune jiri okajiba ambali na mnaiti ya abwe. Bebo bo uli lango wabitu ya ganye. Mwezi gumu mnyeze vili mnyaka gumu ufumone vugana rachi. Ba ino mtu kwe vale ita. Na kwa ta geti yomu wala nga ingi na mbufu mbombega ili demo ya kendeleze. Yito omo yomu tuku vajaba ingilize vya mtu yomu tisenge ye ya vikola. Siva na baba antu. Echikula visa poni ya wafu mboche chachi. Omanyi poni waya uda wafu. Omanyi stani watu dem pornografi. E California eliyo eliyo ka city. Mimi ku anti matemuli well informed. Ngo mali mugwa we pon. Ne mu Africa mu chidi ba bia bana. Mabaga le mili mumbaba tuala abroad kola. Ababa tu be mula babali under steroids, bali under drugs. Omuntu ategera, you cannot have sex on camera. Those people are under the influence of the hand of the devil. Bia bintu bie mulaba. Omusajja na ima na yono neka na kutuka kwa mchala. Ababa sajja geno kutukeka. Ngatali na we. Ngaline chiri cheyala vye. Ababa gena mubiimba yimbe ya wala ni wasanga wala weyambute. Girls pray for your men. Because the value of a wall of a music wall, whatever gain of choose a dress code, whatever kulima. Girls, we gain the reserve boys, we gain the zijamulaga. Aba wall of a tamlanga value where they were tambuza sita ni na yete mo ulira. Every interview you know you go from bawa mwe. Because you don't have any confidence in the Lord. Aba wala bote vage na kuchusa mudress code nze kubuli la mkwano. Kumanga sitani ya wamba demi vili jawe. That is it. O kuja konga valo kose and get a personal encounter with the Lord. Let li katiba mbala bikers. Bo na wiki katile trend yeli. Kubo na katiba mbala bikers. Na gambe e katigwe mule mbe. Na ya mbala bika na astama. Boys, mwe katunda ya wakola, ngolula wa vwot. Your mind just goes direct inside. Katine muda yeka ni mfosi nga wachala veko kole mintu vye walavye. Mbega hili de boys, you want a lovely and successful marriage? Stay away from certain things. That is if you want peace in your family. Kuwanga abamu, mula abane you can't control. Nencha no dayo. Katu ni akolo msajja nga masoge galiwa. Yekas, our sajja for them it's about seeing like this. Omoyo guwa wenzi gutambuli demu music industry. Gutambuli demu social media. Gutambuli demu technology. Because we mvako wenti ato manya mchivye ngeno kulaba kusimu ya. You won't monitor it. Kuwanga siri na kunetwork yo. Never when better could network and sharing the internet. I'll go back and see in the thread. Which of your dollar? Do you know that they check that? Come here, my dear. We have a cave. We have a boss. We have a money. We have a pawn. We have a mullah. We have a damn chairman. Cast over the Wi-Fi. You know your mood. 
Babi kemera ba manya na alaba china atala. Kati mwaba vida vida kofis. Ngamliku kompita za kampani mwed. Kubanga temuina confidence in the Lord. You, that's where you hide your egos. Kati tumanyi aiti wakola. Nga kula vida mnagi. Chitakete chitwecho. Verse 11, for this is the message, where you seek the best for one another. And verse 12, and not, not be like Cain, who was of the evil one, and murdered his brother Abel. And not be like Cain, who was of the evil one, and murdered his brother Abel. And why did he murder him? Because Cain's deeds were evil, and his brothers were righteous. Because he got jealous. Do not be surprised, believers, if the world hates you. Eh, manage. We know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brothers and sisters. He who does not love remains in spiritual death. Everyone who hates works against his brother in Christ is at, at heart a murderer by, by God's standards. And you know that no murderer has internal life abiding in him. There are many ways of killing someone. Just you feeling bad about someone and you bad mouth them, that is enough to kill someone. Words have killed people who, who don't have confidence in the Lord. I have been struggling with your rude words. But because nasangi wanga ni ne mirandi da jaye so ngandi rooted ngandi na personal relationship with my Christ, I got an encounter, and I renew my vows daily. That has helped me to survive a wave of death caused by words from man. You know, man hits the outside, but if I put you inside, you can hit my inner man and kill him. In my inside, I decided to put Christ. That's a journey I've been on since 2010, when I was first hit. And I, I, I was like, I am a bad custodian. Let me give my heart to the Lord. If you want it, find it there. That's like I'm a bad custodian. I am giving my heart to everyone just at that. If you want it, please find it with the Lord. But verse 16, by this we know and have come to understand the depth and instance of his precious love, that he willingly laid down his life for us because he loved us, and we ought to lay down our lives for, for the believers. I ask for you, you come first. Okay. But whoever has the world's goods, a dick, adequate resources and sees his brother in need but has no compassion for him how does the love of god live in him but whoever has the world's goods adequate resources and sees his brother in need but has no compassion for him how does the love of god live in him Little children, believers, dear ones, let us not love merely in theory, with word, with word or with tongue, giving lip service to compassion, but in action and in truth, in practice and in, in sin, sincerity, because practical soul acts of love are more than words. Little children, believers, dear ones, let us not love merely in theory, with word or with tongue, giving lip service or to compassion. You keep saying, I love you more and more, but your I love you more and more has no actions. That is not love. Love without actions is dead. Verse 19, by this we will know without any doubt that we are of the truth and will assure our heart and quiet, and quiet our conscience before him. Verses 20, whenever our heart convicts us in guilt, for God is greater than our heart and he knows all things. Nothing is hidden from him because we are in his hands. God knows everything that we are doing. 
you've not you've not hidden anything from God. Because he's the one who created us, we are his products. Whenever our heart convicts us in guilt, for God is greater than our heart and he knows all things. Nothing is hidden from him because we are in his hands. Verse 21, beloved, if our heart does not convict us of guilt, we have confidence, complete assurance and boldness before God. And we receive from him whatever we ask because we carefully and consistently keep his commandments and do the things that are pleasing in his sight, habitually seeking to follow his plan for us. The season we are in, God wants to have your full attention. Whatever is happening will go until when we have a personal encounter. Until when we learn to love one another God's way. But if we don't learn that, more calamity is coming. Why? Because when you don't love people, your heart is full of sin. Your personal encounter with the Lord is lacking things. God does not work with people who move with the word I. When it's about you, that is a selfish, that is the work of the devil, that is selfishness. I should take it. Verse 21, Beloved, if our heart does not convict us of guilt, we have confidence, complete assurance, and boldness before God. And we receive from Him whatever we ask, because we carefully and consistently keep His commandments. Because He gives instructions, you keep the commandments and do the things that are pleasing in His sight, habitually seeking to follow his plan for us. This is his commandment, that we believe with personal faith and confident trust in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and that we unselfishly love and seek the best for one another, just as he commanded us. Verses 24, the one who habitually keeps his commandments, obeying his word and following his precepts, abides and remains in him, and he in him. By this we know and have the proof that he really abides in us by the spirit whom he has given us as a gift. I would stop there. You can go and do your own Bible study and ask the Lord to speak to you. Love, have a personal relationship with God that not any situation can sweep you off your feet. That not any situation, even if it comes and hits the body outside, let it never hit your spiritual man. One thing that has helped me survive this wave that is so bad, it's because my spiritual man is very strong. Because I got the right foundation, Jesus. And who helped me get to that level? It started with my dad and my mom. Then the Lord connected me to the right people who have nurtured me, who have taught me the right Jesus, who have given me that part of our confidence that I can also stand on my own and say that the Lord is good and his mercies reign forever. Kale kambali kemu kende mbumule because mu ino kukera enchao tuina Dr. Mlinde please attend njamu sindika mu different groups njamu postinga kustetasi njamu teka ne Facebook mu kende mlawe Dr. Mlinde he has he has been on holiday, not really holiday, because he has our denga ye yaula. Atenga chali mo recovery. So I want you to go partake of what the Lord is saying. God chose him for the season. He's a man with God nations. He's he's a watchman, one of the biggest watchmen we have in Africa. God has spoken to him about other countries and he has warned different countries and those that have not listened have fallen victims of what the Lord told Dr. Mlin, the Uganda, we need to end what is going on. It starts with us. It's all in the book you don't read. I was told that they are going, to, they are working on a soft copy. I'll ask someone and see how far they are so that you go and get yourself a copy of the book, A Nation of the Crossroad. My never na Uganda, if you know you're Ugandan, you're born and raised in Uganda. You are a Ugandan. You have children, they might be when the sp your spouse comes from another country, but you're Ugandan, it affects your kids too because they have blood 
flowing in the streams for Uganda. Now, if you are an expert yet and you want to invest in Uganda, you need to understand what's going on in Uganda because I don't want you to fall a victim of what we are going through. Because not knowing something does not take away the fact that if you want to take away, when it, when it, the punishment comes, it will find you there and I don't think you will handle it. Kale banage msudevulunji tuja bala bencha mukama ava kumire ava njaga lire ava igirizo kwa gala ava ntu with no condition. Seek to love one another, take care of one another, respect one another. Before you judge anyone, give them an opportunity to let you know what happened, why they did what they did. Because when I look at most of you, you feel bad ngava ntu wava wailiza. It feels so bad of Mutoko Ailiza. Then it feels so bad to be ignored. I don't want you to go through what I've gone through. Kuanga kwa mkutunu ulida toja kumalako. Na yenga nze mbagala nyo mbagali radala. Mukama wa kumire, wa njagali re. Musura bulunja wa genzo kwe waka. Mubele mkirasi. Nga wawo ya gai gendo enola wa politics. Nola wevi genda maso. Kati ya tene change. Katonda mwene ya sindika. Nava warning, biyebe biyemu lava mu politics, biyo nana viva gamba, nti something is coming, things are going to be very bad. Biyo na biyemu lava yo countries fighting one another, calamity is here, avantu bafa, presidents ve chance, vo gira vino naviri, en nave ya good demu political system ya mwe. Confusion, biyo nana viva gamba mu classes, demu taja kusoma, ne magalo bila vama mauli. Nenga mba kale singa mufuna first hand information. Ne mtu uke yunga mwe yamba mwe yambi na ye it is yoke. E budget ya president team 7 nje wawa some degenzo kufuruma. Nga mkama ya wawoni nga denete mwuri. Na ye it is well. In the 12 classes you don't attend. Vye na mwe vili. Zendi number 13. Nga kula vila mna genze mba gala nyo. The Sakala I'm falling a victim of what is going on. The Empulida will be no render bomb to a filter or Montu Evam. Pulida will be no. Mukama Avanja Galide, may the Lord bless you, our Jack of Frontline, Mukama Avamuksa, because it means a lot. Not everyone can sit there. Some people feel so offended. The Raswa loves was named Kirasa with a very not come sitting up. <laughs> don't mind me that's me i love joking it helps me to laugh and lightens my heart messages in boxes sometimes i take long to read the messages sometimes sometimes i have a lot on my plate and I don't work with only you. I work with nations. I don't take care of, of only my parents. I take care of Uganda. And I stretch out to other countries too. Financially, physically, emotionally, scientifically. Nanga Simon Nay, what you wear, Chicago. Magala Nyo, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord's best shine upon you. Have a good night. May the Lord love you. Ngaboyagalo Kwagala, learn to love other people that way. Don't only love your nuclear family, Kwanga Katins, the nuclear family, and Jibali Valika. Olumma, whatever in that data, never to Jack Wound about to our own devachal in a festival. Kuanga te tugenda kumalida center atemu data. Atemu bomu kama ya wawa assignment. Uchitake dite chintecho. Katinze no kwenye nkola beri webafu na mu. Kuanga ilanga wengadia kola. Nga kola sente nga webafu na mu. Ila nebio kweleza mkame wafe mnange wewte wengilinze wesikola. Nga fetu vila mao nga mwemu ina ina. Uchitake dite chintecho. Mkama wana kulonda na kwa mbazo ugato wa Esther. Jaku juu ila wefuka. Jewali banji mchaka nyo weleza mkama na ya just pray that Esther 414 doesn't ha happen in your life. Some of you, you're supposed to play the Jonathan lifestyle in my life. But what David had 
a friend called Jonathan. Some of you are supposed to be that in my life. Some of you are supposed to be like the way you see Ruth and Naomi. Nga assignment yo wete wefana na mula muwange. Abalalanga ya Elisa Neria. Abalalanga ya Yosef ne Maganda be. Era mwe na jisome sayo kilaste waji. Era wa Yosef na Maganda wa Yosef na wala wa. I was leaving the country msomba chintu. Na gamba estam kama wakati ya kufude Yusuf wa nyumba ya tatao netulina msumba ni ngambo wa msumbe cha ngambe cha achi mwana watu na chila wa mkofiti 19 saa chila wa just in the spiritual na chila wa physically om egyptian wa yampito kubela na yate na amala na afogutula awe na manjila anti season ye kaya ya afogutula mbusungu na yewe nali mfuru mate na atula na ambulili Nanda ga kompaso ni na inga mfulumiza. Nga sina wa deskum. Nga sente zona zenkoze from March to August. Zona nga zisindi se yuji. Nga temwe temukola. Neka tonda gwe nakiriza because I have confidence in my Christ. Na sindi kila vanda mungona. Yesu wa vanja galiri. Na sindi kila wana mungona ya sito ya nende kagena kwa street. Kumanga wali uomu loko liyali ya gambi. Ntino ni wena gena kwa street tali nyamba. Eche chintu wechatu ukilida na kaba. Na mgamba mkama onde sechi gambo cho omu loko lecha yogela chitu ukilide. Mkama na ngamba zena kule tanja kula vile. Na ziki ze vikango vya ngamba mu 2019. Na ngamba esto lugendu roteli mwana wa mundu. I want you to learn to forgive. Forgiveness for Esther Solomon has been a journey. I'm not yet to that level yet. Nene, na yate na vaa wabye nyo. It's a process. Teba kulimba. Nzo kubiyo gela konyamba mwa balala. So that you don't fall victims of such things ever again. Kuwanga za singa siva sonyi wabana vamu wage na fune vikoli mu. Which untuno li wabana vamu they look so lovely. Babe ya gaza. Kati ogwangu kwa kumila pini ni mba sonyua. Ni mba tonde late ni mba sonyua. Nzo kuchoge lako I'm teaching other people so that we end the error. Saka la tuberenga wa lwa deva siri. Lutaya came out and warned you people but you never listened. How many years are they since Lutaya's time? People are still dying of AIDS. People are still having sex, unprotected sex. With whoever they feel they like. Omwe yo guwa wenzi gutu demwe. Guwa galo buli omwe alu wale. It's a network. It's a sexual network. Sima ni rachi mkama tala yo nye yo na ini no kubawano. Nja kukoma wencha tuchongere ko. It's be careful networks then kwabateka some of you are running away na yate muduka muduka maso gamu kama tene mgena ni mwe connecting ku channel zencha kumanga stand cha gala tia gala kula vangoli hape eyo jio wagenze joloza jio funila hape mnang it's just for a short time mwe gendele zenga muduka mgroup simo season mwe gendele zenga yo ignoring messages mwe gendele zenga don't cut communication. The devil loves cutting communication because he knows what it means to communicate. Tozik is a communication. We communicate to God through prayer, through praise and worship, through serving him in love and serving his people. Nze nari ngeenda kuduka. Nangamba tata omulawa. Konze. E chicho, e jakuwa tiripo. Ate chicho tichige na kuata goweka. Na uba jalu gende na mu. Ura manya genina. Ura vila gogenina. Ura familia mwemba na ngamba ha. Ata u VIP oi. Chenko la nchaga la sito wacha nkaka. Na nchaga la nyawa bantu. Kuanga kwa watu manyi kwa gala bantu nze esta chenko la tochisoko la nze kubuli. Mwe namba manya wa sogula na watu sogula to sogula nze chenko la yukenzi.
I want you to get to that level because most of you, God has called you, but you terminated God's work. Most of you, God has called you in the music industry. He has called you in the the, the seven spheres. About media, education, economics, environment, industrial, religion, politics. But all the seven affect the environment through air, water, and earth. So be careful out there. Have a good night. See you tomorrow morning, Uganda, with Dr. Mlinde. I'll, I will inform you. I'll be awake, don't you worry. I'm going to sleep now. It is what time? It is 6.39. I'm going to go to bed. That is if I can handle. I am seven hours behind Uganda. Most of you are complaining, thinking I don't sleep. But now I'm seven hours behind you, gun. Kati gonda wo tianga wevas. A kati muli muchitanda mwevas. Onda wo tiantino sevas. Kati nange ngenda kuyingile chitanda. Kati onda wango zuku kanga nange zuku. O chitake de chintenji. Na inga amba gara I know you care. Na ini na assignment. Na nini ya jaga. Kwa nganze wensiri kwa wensi kila wensi nga mwena mwena. If you never call your chicket, never to bring any cut on that man with a mere section. Touch together. I love you, Azo. Kale Kamba, see you later. Bye.